Aloha. Today, uh, talking about super saturation and how to preserve your natural farming plant juices. So I use this can of food as a supplement, but right after pouring it off, it comes out and it's still very liquidy. And so this has too much moisture content and I can, I can store this in the fridge and use it as is, but uh, if I store it instead in by super saturating with sugar it then becomes shelf stable so this is what i'm going to do here today in today's lesson is uh, talk to you about super saturation and how to make any any solution you have shelf stable and put microbes under arrest so super saturation is effect of having all the water molecules bound to sugar molecules so all the sugar enters into the solution, all the water joins up, and there is now no free water available for any of the microbes to attach or to consume to then reproduce. So what we want to do in super saturation is we want to add an equal volume of, of sugar. But since most of our fermented plant juices, we have an unknown amount of sugar, we actually need more telltale signs of how do we know when we're approaching this. Now this is a uh, fermented plant juice from, made from lime, so it actually has a fair amount of liquid in it. Anytime you do fruits, they tend to have a lot of liquid, takes more sugar. Um, so we'll see how much sugar this will, this will take. And so I want, what I wanna do here in today's lesson is show you how to eyeball this and understand when you're approaching super saturation. So what I'm going to use in today's lesson is brown sugar. I have some CNH sugar. Eventually I'll grow my own. And what I'm going to do here is add in the sugar. And at first you'll notice it's sinking to the bottom very fast. The sugar is just falling to the bottom. The sugar color is also changing. So each of these spoonfuls is one cup, and so so far I've added in approximately three cups of sugar. So it's a good time to now seeing the sugar accumulating on the bottom. It's a good time to give it a little stir. So I'm gonna give this. This is stir, sugar starting to enter into the liquid. Then I'm gonna continue to add sugar. And what I'm looking for is it's starting to float on the top. And that sugar definitely is starting to float here. So the sugar is now starting to actively float. When the sugar is floating like that and sinking in so slowly, that's a, that's a sign that you're reaching super saturation. And what starts to happen is you start to form a little ring here at the bottom. We'll get to see that a bit later. But I'm going to give it one last stir. And it's always better to add a little le more sugar than a little less. Mm, this slime is delicious. So. So again, those are the properties of super saturation that the water or the sugar starts to float on top. That's because the sugar or the, the liquid is.
So this solution here is perfectly super saturated, which means now it's shelf stable, and also meaning that I can put a lid on it here, and in the next day or so it's really going to settle out and uh, not have a problem. So we'll check on it a little, see the ring developing on the bottom, It's exactly what we want to see. We know this is a perfect batch here, perfectly super saturated. So one more time, we'll go through this little process here, super saturation, show you once more. But essentially I have an unknown amount of sugar in my fermented plant juice, so I'm going to add sugar until it stops going in so fast. In the beginning, the water's just, the sugar's just splashing down, hitting the bottom. Right there. And then it starts to kind of stick on the top, so the key is to stir it during this process. Just stir it clockwise. No, it really doesn't matter which direction you stir it, but you want to stir it so the water and sugar molecules mix together. As I added a bit slower, you can see it's starting to float. It's going in a bit slower. It's basically just standing on top of that water. So, once it's floating like that, see the sugar just floating on top. Now I can stir it in. And I reach super saturation. not super saturated well it'll develop a tiny ring like this in the bottom if I have a huge ring that means I've wasted sugar it should be just the tiniest little ring right here just that, that way you hit it perfect right on the head this one's probably a little too much sugar So this can be done for more than just um, fermented plant juice, can of food. You can also do this for the can of police, lactic acid bacteria, um, and any other solution that is biological that you want to super saturate. Very similar process um, for preserving seed IMO. When you collect that, you add in equal volume again of brown sugar, and that does a super saturation. What I like to say. It's like Han Solo and Carbonite. The microbes are frozen and they can't move. And so they're here waiting for the force to awaken, which is us diluting them later, bringing them to life. But their biological agents are stored here very securely in this carbon-based sugar substrate that's still liquid, but super saturated so that there's not enough water for microbes to reproduce. Another way to say this is the microbes are under arrest thinking that you're not under arrest to be where you're not de dead, but you're not as mobile as you could be. And so this analogy also, um, think of the microbes slowing down, they're having a harder time reproducing as they are under arrest. And so that's the whole idea, to preserve this at room temperature. This is highly biologically active material. The, um, the eggs, in the, they mimic plant exudates, and exudates are also, again, sugary secretions coming out of the soil. So this sugar is, again, why another, another reason where it's used in the plant and the availability. Um, you cannot use molasses 
because it has too much sugar or too much water content. So you need to use brown sugar. Coconut sugar works well. Um, I just use tame sugar. Um, and I think the pure, the source, the better, the more organic, probably the better. But the best, again, is to know your farmer and know who you're dealing with. So a little bit on super saturation for you. Hope you're having a great day. Aloha.